I tied on this, what we will be using on a Mojo Bass, seven foot one medium heavy rod with the SLX DC Shimano light reel. It's about 78 degrees right now. Wind is, uh, it's a little wind, but it's nice. Feels good. How's it going? Not yet. Just got here about 10 minutes ago. No. I saw on this app, Fish Brain, that I use, um, people catch pretty good bass here. I see here in February and March. Mm -hmm. The biggest I caught was the first cast or the first time I came, it was just like a three pounder. Okay, that's not bad, especially for, I mean, this. They had a nice attack uh, Lake Excel. Okay. I think it was more than I'm just, I'm doing work over here, so this whole area is pretty new to me. I, uh, I do a lot of saltwater fishing since I've been down here, but now that I'm working over in this area, it's all like fresh water, like ponds and lakes and stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, saltwater, because I'm over by Tampa, so I fish Tampa Bay all the time, clear water. Um, it's, it's fun. Saltwater fishing is fun. Yeah. Tarpons and snooks. And Haven't caught a tarpon yet, but snook, yep, snook, redfish. Um, yeah. I, you know, I never landed a tarpon in my life. I've, I spent a lot of time in Cuba. I okay. went fishing for tarpons. Oh, awesome. I hooked uh, in an amazing, one of the most amazing fishing spots I've ever been around the world. I fish all over the world. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. What do you do? Uh, I'm a strength and conditioning coach for Olympic athletes. Okay. Awesome. Cool. But I travel with my fishing stuff. Yep. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, for example, if I'm in the Philippines, I might go... Uh, Inshore trolling, yeah, yeah. Or I might fly to Thailand and, and go fish the Mekong giant catfish. Okay. So I call holy smokes. What do you use for bait with that? Just cut bait or like? Bait. Yep. But I like to use light tackle. Okay. For that. Yeah, I bet. But I've used the Stratic FL 5000 for that. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And. I would say most spinning reels, the, the gears after one fish, they're done. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Especially Daiwa. Daiwa has, has got such butter. You, you got this in Japan? Yep. Yeah, I could just, Pike would just absolutely love this. The coloring on this is awesome. And this particular one can resist a pike attack. I have a very expensive swim bait from Japan. Mm hmm. I caught one pike on it, and it was not even big, it was probably 70 centimeters. Uh, what is it? Uh, 30, 28 inches. Mm -hmm. and it just destroyed it. It's it yeah. so much of the paint. Yeah. And that's my main go to lure, Meps Black Fury. Yeah. Mine is uh, Meps Ugly Along. Yes, five, yep, five, yep, with, with double tail. blade, double blade, single, blade single, with the, with the so tail. many pikes on that one, yeah, and big ones, yep, yep. So, this year, uh, like two months ago, I caught three 42 inches, okay, yeah. uh, man, that's awesome. One on exactly this bait, but uh, pink, yeah, then one on the Aglia long five mm -hmm. and then another one on the lazy lazy shot by yosuri is a is a what they what they call uh jerk bait it's big it's like this mm -hmm. and it goes like this yeah yeah a bit like the swim bait like that okay so i i love fishing in sweden if you 
If, we, if it was not, I stopped right now. Do you now, get to I choose where you go or, did, you know? I have a lot of free time. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, so my athletes are around the world doing general preparation. Yeah. I send them the programs. They do it. Well, it was very nice to meet you. Same. I'll see you tomorrow if you come fishing. Probably. Yeah, yeah, I'll see what my work schedule is and where I'm at. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, give you a shot on Instagram. So I'll, I'll, Do you usually fish this time of day or you fish all, all the time? Okay, tomorrow I'm pretty free so I can fish. All right, you guys, so we are going to be taking off. I didn't catch anything, no bites, nothing really popping. And the water is extremely murky. Um, Plus, I'm really hungry, so we're gonna go get some food right now and see what's up around this area, see what they have. Um, but I did meet a new friend, Carlos, so I hopefully I meet up with him tomorrow or sometime in the near future so he can put me onto some fish in this area since I'm fairly new. Um, you guys, sometimes it's not about the fish that you're catching, but the connections that you meet on the water. Um, Carlos is a very interesting guy, cool job, lots of free time, and all he does is fish, it sounds like. An Olympic trainer for athletes all around the world. He's fished all around the world. He sure he has a lot more cool fishing stories. So stay tuned. Hopefully I link up with him so we can do a little collab. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. 24 hours later. Meeting up with Carlo right now at the lake that he caught that seven plus pounder at. Um, hopefully we can get um, land that or some other hawks. But yeah, stay tuned and we'll see you on the water. How are you? Good. Good. Good to see you. Small one with a lot of weeds. Yep. Oh yeah, he is all in the weeds. There he goes. Nice. Did you get low? Oh, it's still there. Fish on. First fish of the day. Off from a little spinner. Nice. In the middle of the lake. Oh, you had one? Yeah. Oh. That's a cool one. A good one? What are you using? A silver spoon? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, it's a monster. It's a monster. It's a monster. Wow, nice. Carlo! Look at that! Yes, sir! I think it's Look same. at that, you guys. That's what I'm talking about. Just swallowed it. You know what? That might have been the same one that came. Yeah, it was the same. <laughs> because I felt that it was heavy on the strike. Look at that.
Yeah, That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Let's see how many centimeters. Four. It's almost 50 centimeters. Look at that well, nice mouth. All right, let's get him back in the water. Maps never fails. Nice job, man. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I just gave Carlo uh, this jerk bait and he caught a fish with it already. That's awesome. First cast too, huh? Awesome. All right, I got to be careful that there isn't stuff that will pop out and bite me like a rattlesnake and I should be all set. If you go down under here. All right, we are back at the hotel. Unfortunately, my GoPro died again and I didn't have any spare batteries with me again. Um, I'm gonna have to get a couple and Put them in my truck and in my car because this happens a lot um but yeah i didn't really catch anything no action really after that carlo did catch a couple small ones but i didn't have any bites or uh any hits so gopro died at a good time but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one